What's going on, everyone? It's Camilio Salamander, back to bring you the news. On today's wrestling report, we have many stories, starting with the results for the Tuesday Night War, news on Heyman Page, an AEW star re-signing to the company, and many, many more stories. Please don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to stay up to date. Now, without further ado, let's kill that intro. I'm a visionary, revolutionary. I'm a visionary, revolutionary. With only days until Halloween Havoc, the October 18th edition of NXT was one of the largest programs the company has ever put on. NXT has started with the Pick Your Poison match with Roxanne Perez versus Rhea Ripley. Ripley she would defeat Perez via pinfall. The next match was Channing Stax Lorenzo versus a mystery opponent that was handpicked by the Don, Tony D'Angelo. This mystery opponent was Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura would defeat Stax via pinfall. The next matchup was Abba Fry versus Song of Deville with Toxic Attraction. Now Fry would defeat Song of Deville via pinfall, and after the match, Toxic Attraction they would attack Fry before Manny Rose made a return. Fry, she would go through everyone who was standing and she would claim Rose's title. Now WWE, they appear to be taking Fire's attempt kidnapping of the championship in stride. The next matchup was Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams versus Wes Lee and Oro Mensa. Melo and Trick would defeat Lee and Mensa via pinfall. After the match, Von Ragnar, he would land a massive group to Melo, only for Phaser to dive onto him. The next matchup was the Cisco versus Cameron Grimes and two mystery opponents. The mystery opponents became to be the OC. Grimes and the OC would defeat Shipscom by via pinfall. NXT announced next week that they will host two contract signings. The next matchup was for co-hosting duties. It was Zion Quinn versus Quincy Elliott. Now Elliott would defeat Quinn via pinfall to become the co-host of Halloween Havoc. The next matchup was the final Pick Your Poison matchup with Corey J versus Raquel Rodriguez. Now Jay she would defeat Rodriguez by disqualification and after the match, Perez, she would storm to the ring and she sent Jay running. Mm. This rivalry is a tension. And to end off NXT, the KO show would descend in chaos. Brian Breaker and Jagannoff, they would get into each other's faces and Kevin and Kevin Owens, he eventually gave up and let the battle continue. Jagannoff, he would defeat both Breaker and Mido before standing tall. Now, Austin Theory music would play and he displayed his Money in the Bank suitcase hitting at a future cast in. That was it for the recap for this week NXT. Now I'm going to kick it off to KB the Mark to give the recap for AEW's Tuesday special event. What's going on, everyone? It's KB the Mark here to give you a recap of AEW Dynamite title Tuesday live from Cincinnati Ohio where I was in attendance first off this show was fantastic we're going to go ahead and jump into it the show started off with an amazing match for the trios championships um, newly crowned AEW All-Atlantic champion Orange Cassidy and best friends challenging against Death Triangle and Death Triangle did retain uh, in this match they the match was back and forth it was definitely uh, one of the hotter matches of the night uh, we then had a Britt Baker promo where either her or Jamie Hayter would be AEW women's world champion not interim AEW women's world champion by the end of 2022 uh, we're then moving on to the second match of the night the second title match of the night the AEW Interim Women's World Championship is on the line. Tony Storm versus Hikaru Shida. Again, another fantastic match. Tony Storm did retain. Uh, Post match, Heels came in for the beatdown. Soraya and a returning Riho come in and make the save. So that was fantastic as well. 
uh, we then uh, we had a Brian Danielson a Wheeler Yuta promo where Wheeler Yuta was pretty much going off on Brian Danielson for not saying that Daniel Garcia was a snake. Uh, up next, we had the Ring of Honor Championship on the line, Dalton Castle versus the Ocho, uh, Chris Jericho, and another fantastic match. Um, if you guys have, you know, been keeping up on the podcast, you've heard me multiple times talk about the Ring of Jericho uh, reign and how it's the hottest thing in the company right now. And this was just another example of how great Chris Jericho really is. That then led us to the main event. Cincinnati's own John Moxley defending against Hangman Adam Page. This match was cut short. Uh, Hangman was legit injured. He was legit stretchered out, and it, it was it was definitely a shock. But the Cincinnati crowd didn't mind. They got to hear from John Moxley. Moxley called out MJF, and MJF just, uh, told Moxley that he's going to cash in the chip at um, full gear. So at full gear, the main event has been set. Seeing Dynamite live, it was fantastic. I, 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 I will go out of my way to say that, that the live experience to me made it damn near a perfect show. So if you, even if you're not a fan of AEW, give it a chance by going to a live show. You never know what you'll think. You never know. You never know what you might think. Give it a chance. Go to a live show. I absolutely had a ball at this show. It was absolutely fantastic. I will definitely be going back again. Uh, Tony Khan can continue to take my money. I'm a fucking mark. This show was fantastic. That's all I have for the recap. Me and Salamander will be covering it more on uh, on the podcast. According to Variety, a top star had inked a contract extension with the company that would take him through 2025. Chris Jericho has stated, I guess the simple answer is why not? Things have been going well in the company and I really do feel that this is my company. It's tattooed on my heart, so to speak. I've been here since day one and there's usually no reason not to be here continuing forward. When AEW first started, I think basically it was Chris Jericho and a group of very talented people that might not have been well known. Within three months, that changed. And now, within three years, we got at least a dozen, maybe two dozen of our own homegrown stars that came to their own on AEW television. All Elite Wrestling issued the following statement on Heyman Adam Page. Hey man, Adam Page was taken tonight by medical personnel to a Cincinnati Trauma Center and diagnosed with a concussion. He was discharged, but he will remain in AEW concussion protocol. The ratings for this week episode of WWE Monday Night Raw was down. The show averaged 1.803 million viewers on the USA Network, which is down for the 1.8 eight to four million viewers the show did a week ago the average rating in the 18 to 49 demographics was 0.50 which is down for the 0.55 it did last week becky lynch has been out for a few months and it appears that fans will have to wait to see her a little bit longer now lynch she was rumored to be returning by the end of September after she mentioned that she hoped to be back in a few months. And according to Fightful Select, they was told that the company has yet to follow up with Lynch regarding a possible comeback. Lynch appeared backstage at Raw last week, but as early as September, the doctors and physical therapists assumed that she would be out at least a few more months. As of this recording, there is no date set for her return. That's it guys, thank you for tuning in. Please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to stay up to date. Once again, I'm Camilleo Salamander, signing off, until the next one. I started with nothing and came out of king. Came out of king. Yeah, yeah. I've been the one that's been ballin' for rings. I've been the one that's been ballin' for rings. It's been me and my team and we chasing the green. My team be the shit, we ain't ballin' for free. Ballin for free. Yeah. 
my team be the shit, we ain't ballin' for free